So uh, it is just just coming up on 9:05 in the morning. Uh, I'm still a little bit disheveled just because I had not been up all that long, but uh, this kind of coincides with, coincides with what I'm going to say or talk about. I picked this up at uh, my store. It is a crust cutter, Ninja Turtles crust cutter. That was very interesting. A friend on uh, Twitter pointed this out and I just happened to find it by chance so uh, there's the back of it very interesting how they use the uh, the 80's turtles and their logo but they kind of uh, 2012 did with the Nickelodeon series I thought that was kind of interesting uh, anyway we have the cross cutter and we also have a sandwich saver which is Donatello which is my favorite turtle so that's why I picked this up uh, warning, this is not a toy. Please dispose of it properly. Avoid danger, suffocation. Babies, children, do not use bag and cribs. Blah, blah, blah. I'm actually starting to wonder if that meant the bag itself or the sandwich saver itself, but there's a bit of uh, jargon on the back. So, like it says, it's a crust cutter, but I thought, being early, and because I haven't had any in a long time, I'm going to make some French toast. And I'm going to try this on some French toast, just for, you know, a change of pace. So, uh, stay tuned. Here we go. Here comes the French toast. Hope you're not hungry. Okay, we got the eggs mixed up. We got the butter cooking, or melting, rather. There you go. This is butter. We got the eggs. We'll add a bit of pepper. To the eggs. I'm sure everybody knows how to make French toast, but uh, why not? Why not complete the process by showing you a bit of the process? Or something like that. I am doing this one handed, so do forgive. There we go. Um, Turn this up a bit. The heat I left it on low, so it's meh. Anyway, got the pepper mixed in. We don't have anything fancy today. I just thought I'd throw some pepper in. Some through the. I only put two eggs in here. We might need about one more. I don't know. It's been a while since I've made French toast. Anyway, put this closer over here. We got some pepper onto the egg there. And if there's a cleaner way to do this, I can't recall. Just stick our hands in there. All right, French toast one is on the go. To be continued, obviously. <laughs> All right. So well, we got the eggs uh, cooking. The French toast that is. French toast and eggs, eggs and toast. Uh, anyway, uh, gonna give you a cl closer, better look at this. A bit too close, maybe. Uh, it's basically just a solid plastic shell. You got the uh, frame underneath of uh, what will be cut, and uh, basically it says: position the crust on the bread, press into the bread and apply pressure. Pull crust away and remove cutter. Very basic. There it is. And that's what we're going to do in a moment. Uh, also, we have the sandwich holder, which is just the sandwich holder. Nothing terribly interesting about it. Just the sandwich holder. But, for the sake of completion, there you go. There's, there's the two of them, and uh, i got to go check on the French toast. One down. And then we got the last one just finishing up in the pan here. And then we're going to see how well this uh, crust cutter actually does work. It probably works pretty decent on sandwiches as, as it's what it's supposed to do, but we'll see how it plays out on uh, French toast in a minute here. One, two. Alright, one second. Okay, the French toast is done. 
Um, I tried to center one of these best on the plate as I could, just so it's not up on like a bit of a ledge here we got, uh, just for the best uh, best chance of doing this proper. And then on the side we have the sandwich keeper holder thingy. Not that I'm going to hold on to it, but just for uh, just to uh, say that it's here. Uh, as far as I know, uh, best way it says to do this here is we have. You can just do this right straight on the plate. So that's what, not the plate. Sorry, the toast, the bread. So that's what we're going to try here for. Because uh, as you can see, it does look a little big. So actually, I don't know if that's going to work. So let's try. First one will be on an angle. How about that? And then we just push down. There we go. Let's push down. And it says you're supposed to uh, remove the crust. So, half a tick because I'm doing this one handed, remember? Okay, so I removed the crust. Um, I don't think it's going to be the best because I think, uh, just as considering how tricky it was to get the crust off because of the egg, I think this was mainly made for um, just normal peanut butter jam type sandwiches. See, there's the crust. I've not pulled this up, so we'll look at it together and see how this actually worked. Come on. Oh! Uh, well, you do have the shape of it in there, but I think maybe the egg, the fact that the egg kind of uh, kept you from seeing all the details. According to this, you're supposed to see, like, the eye holes. See, we got eye holes and whatnot. It didn't really come out. Do have a bit of the shape here in the uh, bandana though, and the eyes are kind of sort of visible, at least in my view. I don't know if you can pick up on that. Uh, we're gonna give this another go with the other one, see if it turns out any better. See if maybe just French toast isn't the thing to try this on. But uh, give me a second, uh, we'll see how this plays out. Good thing I made two pieces. Okay, uh, you can see first attempt, second attempt, which actually did kind of turn out. And then I went back and I tried it on a plain piece of bread. And again, it did turn out better. Uh, I think maybe toast would be your best option to try this, but it does do what it says uh, for the most part, and it's pretty cool, I think. Uh, I think this ran me about, uh, what was it, four bucks, I think, ish, I don't recall. It, it was a while back I bought it. Probably a week or two now. Not two, but a good week, week and a half since I bought it. So, I would say, based on this, it does work pretty decent. I think the first one I just didn't hold it down for long enough. Because there's like no definition in the face whatsoever. The normal bread was pretty decent. You do have a bit of definition. Um, the fact that there was no egg on it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that helped or made it any worse, it's, it's for you to decide. Uh, but yeah, it worked. And it's pretty cool. Uh, not that I'm not into eating crust, uh, but uh, just for the novelty of it, that's why I bought it. I just, I think it's something nifty and something I've never really seen before. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. Of course, like I said, we have the sandwich holder and it fits in there rather well. Uh, thing is too, um, for all of these I actually had to uh, cut on a bit of an angle on the bread. Uh, whenever I tried to cut as the picture showed it would be uh, it would be uh, the bandana itself wouldn't fit on, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you'd end up cutting that off if you tried to cut uh, straight on with the bread itself. So anyway, uh, that'll do it for the video. Uh, thank you for watching. And I guarantee you also that these French toast turned out well because I ate the crust as I was filming this and it was very good. So I'm going to finish my breakfast off here and uh, edit this together. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, do like it, did enjoy it, will enjoy it, and everything under that umbrella of enjoying. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. 
Okay, so maybe I goofed just a touch just because of the lighting. Uh, I turned the uh, stove light off, or you know, the light above the oven and the stove and whatnot. And you can actually see that this did actually come out rather good for the uh, French toast. Uh, probably the best, uh, even the bread didn't have that much uh, kind of look to it. So yeah, like I said, it works. And I guess it works on French toast just as well as uh, it would on toast toast. But there you go. Thanks for watching. I'm going to eat this now. Bye. Bye bye.